welcome to plant a garden tv how you guys doing today hope you guys doing wonderful i just want to shout out everybody this morning everybody whatever you doing whoever you are shout out to each and every one of you just for waking up this morning just for able to stand and take that force breath it's a blessing so shout out to you all right so today guys i want to talk about caribbean food and how caribbean food could be simple to grow very easy to grow once you understand the basic yes all right so now we're talking about the banana tree here banana tree is one of the easiest plant to grow one of the easiest plants to grow all you got to do dig get the sucker which is the baby like this one this one is a sucker here this one no push out a few weeks ago look at the height of this thing this one as well so all you need is the sucker from the mother once you get the sucker all you need to do is dig a hole I say at least 12 to 16 inches deep and 12 to 16 inches wide. Once you do that, plant it down in there, water it for a couple of days. Once you see it start growing, that's it right there. Banana love a lot of food. So what I feed them with, I feed banana with these grasses like I clean my garden and I take them and I throw them around the root and allow them to get rotten and turn compost I, I want to do organic I want to grow them the organic way even this banana as well this one is a dwarf banana and it's pretty tall and as you see, it have a baby there as well. And one coming up down there. Yeah, so all you got to do is get the plant, dig the hole, put them in the hole, water them for a few days. And after that, the banana start going. All right. So we're going to move on to the edo plant now. Edo plant is another easy plant to grow very easy to grow it's basically the same thing once you dig the hole put them in the hole you don't even have to water them honestly just put them in the hole in the springtime that's the best time to plant them once you put them in the hole in the springtime basically the only thing you will have to do to them is Weed, pull up these weed from time to time. That's all you got to do. And soften their root. They love a lot of dirt around their root. So you got to take deep like dirt and push around their root. So we call it molding them up. Okay, so you, you must mold them up. They love dirt around their root. And you never supposed to see your head of root. There's some white baby root that they just be pushing. You're never supposed to see them. Okay, because they're always pushing up small edo plant all along the way. So, you definitely have to pull dirt around their root. Because they continue. You see this one? They're still pushing up small edos right here. So, this... I have to pull some dirt around this one, definitely. This is, once you have this covered with the edo plant, once you have it covered where you clean the garden, taking up the, the areas, once you're able to do that, taking up the grass, once you're able to do that, you have a beautiful 
Edofield come in, trust me. And they will produce a whole lot for you. Even though now we come into the Tanya. This is the Tanya. The Tanya is the same thing. The same thing. You get the Tanya, you plant them in the spring. And once you plant them in the spring, you, you ain't even got to wet them. The honest truth, you ain't even got to wet them. You leave them, and once you leave them, they're going to start growing. Look how beautiful these are. They're going to start growing, and all you got to do, clean around their root, pull up a lot of soil around their root, and they're going to do the rest. So it's very easy to grow Caribbean food. All right? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Peace.